This is the Wednesday HIT workout. Um, only body weight, so just a mat required and your body, of course. Even though it's gonna feel like an intense workout, you have to make it your level. So even if I'm doing something crazy, like a big high tuck jump, you can slow it down, you can keep it lower impact. So as we go through some of the exercises, I'll show the high impact version first, and then I'll show what options you can take. And then, yeah, modify. The workout isn't meant for you to just easily be able to get through it without sweating, without having a super high heart rate, without feeling like you might die just a little bit. But um, yeah, try to move through the moving parts. You'll rest a lot, so you'll, even though it won't feel like a lot, you will get breaks throughout the whole thing. So we're gonna start with a warm up, just um, yeah, off your mat. Okay, so we'll just start with a little shuffle. Shake it out, take a couple breaths. We're gonna do a jumping jack with your hands forward and back, right here. So warm up, six exercises, 30 seconds each. Hands tap behind your back and forward. Nice. Going right into a deep squat. Down, up. Nice. Hips reaching down nice and low. Chest staying tall. 15 more seconds. And we're going right into a high knee run. You can start with a march if you want, or you can lift the knees up. So, knees lifting up towards the waist, keeping the upper body set tall. Let's keep running it out. Okay, keep engaging the core, keep lifting. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, Two, reverse lunges, alternating legs. Good. Back knee drops down under the hip. Take your time with it. So we're going right into a modified burpee, so stepping into a play, stepping forward, coming up. Fifteen seconds more. Okay, let's take it down to a play. Be a little bit wide. We're lifting up. Reach left hand towards right ankle. Right hand towards left ankle. A plank ankle reach. Come all the way back to your strong plank. Lift, reach. Forward, hold. So make sure you're not dropping your hips too well. That you're really keeping the core engaged. Lifting the hips. Four seconds. Three, two. One, we go back to the beginning. One more time through. Right into that slap back jumping jack. Think about where in this second part of the warm up you can take things maybe a little faster. Deeper in the squat, higher with the knees. A little faster. Three, two, deep squat. Down, up. See if you can hold for a second at the bottom, then push through those heels to come right back up. Good. Keep the chest tall, no rounding of the spine. Five seconds. Three, two, high knee run. Lift it up. Keep 
first two minutes, that really wakes you up, right? So, two more times through it. Take your breath here. Just stay moving, don't sit down. Woo! Okay, starting again, five seconds. Power lunges with those punches. Three, two, one. See if you can stand this whole 30 seconds. Front knee is not pushing too far forward. Keep that pace 15 seconds ago. Woo! Faster. Four, three, two. Get those lateral quick jumps. Here we go. A little bit of speed. Feet together. Like you have a line on the floor. You're hopping over. You pick up the pace just a little bit. Woo! A little faster. Five seconds. Four, three, two. That is your plank. Left foot, quick toe tap. Tap the toe as far forward as you can. Shoulders are stacked long on top of your wrist. Keep it going. Faster. Like you're chiseling your obliques right here. Five. Four, three, two, 180 degree turn, tuck jump, 30 seconds, let's go. Higher with the tuck jump, more power from the floor to lift. Try to make barely any noise on the floor when you land, either in that turn squat or in that tuck jump. Five seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Rest, shake it out. <sighs> Good news. One more time through. At the very end of this block, one extra minute we're adding. A power move to push it for a longer break. So, take your last few breaths here. We're gonna work for three total minutes. Three, two, one, let's go. I want the third set to be your best set yet. We're pushing through that whole 30 seconds. You've got 15 seconds to go. Yes. Five seconds. Three, two, one, side to side. Here we go. Maybe you make a little wider jump this time. Maybe moving those arms. Keep it going. A rear option. Take it if you need it. Then right back into it. Woo! Faster, faster. Four, three, two, 15 seconds. Right knee, right toe tap. Here we go. Fast as you can. Switch legs. Other side. Move it. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last time. Turn, tuck. The whole thirty. Here we go. I want those tuck jumps. Knees coming higher. Land a little softer. Once you turn, right into it. No time. In between. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Okay, power move. Every power move we do today is a ladder. So we go to a plank. We come up. Two high knees. Another plank. Come up. Four high knees. Six high knees. Eight high knees. Let's go. You start now. Plank. Stand up, two knees. Plank, stand up, one, two, three, four. Then right back down again. Want you to keep moving. 
Let's go. Got 30 seconds left. High, high knees. 15 seconds to go. Faster, let's move. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good work. Take your break. Breathe. Water a little bit, towel a lot of it. Whatever you need. Woohoo! Good. Block one is done. That always gets us over the hump, right? Of your body realizing, okay, I'm doing this now. No turning back. Okay. Take a little rest for a second. Catch your breath. We're on to block two. A little bit of power. So, I was power. Strength, stability in the core, okay? A little bit slower than before. We'll do things like push-ups, maybe some lower body work, a lot of core work as well. So, again, same thing. I'm gonna show you the exercise. Go for it once you see it. I'll show you the modification as well. We're into it, we're already going. All right, walk two. First exercise on the floor. It's gonna look like that similar Plank angle reach, only as you come forward, push up. Plank angle reach, push up. Three, two, one, here we go. Of course, modification, knees down in the push up, then lift the hips and reach. You can also just do a hip lift and right into the push up. So there's plenty of ways to modify. Let's keep it moving. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the core. Five seconds. Four, three, two. We're gonna stand up and step wide. Yeah, we're gonna twist, little hop. Twist, hop. Twist, hop. Lower body work. Reach, hop. Doesn't have to be fast. Five seconds. Four, three, two. This side a bit different down in that plank position. We're gonna go into a crouch. Hips reach back towards the heels. As you come forward to the plank, right knee to right elbow, then left knee to left elbow. It's a crouch, oblique knee. Really reach the knee to the outside of the elbow. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Five seconds. Three, two, okay, last 30 seconds. On the forearms, right leg lifts in the air and we just hold this plank. Belly pulls towards the spine, engage the core. It's an isometric hold. You're holding, you're breathing. Option, just the plank with both feet on the floor. Or maybe knees are down but the hips are forward. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, lower. Stretch it out. Okay, you can see how this evolves. A lot of stability in your core, under upper body strength, and it breaks. So, even though those, some of those a bit complicated coordination-wise, now that you're on set two, no problems. You can go right into it. Speaking of, five seconds and we start it again. That went quick. Okay, here we go. Plank ankle reach, right into the push up. Reach, as soon as the hand touches down on the floor, into the push up. 15 seconds to go. Make this as smooth and fluid as you can. Five seconds. Three, two, stand it up. Take it wide, reach, hop. Getting a little bit of your obliques in here, as well as your lower body. Just a little hop, not too high. Landing softly.
Five seconds. Three, two, let's go for that crouch, oblique knee. Hips reach back, propel yourself forward, send the knee with it. Use the breath here. Inhale back, exhale forward. Good, you've got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, right down. Onto the forearms, left leg lifts. So hold, right leg as straight as you can, lock tight. Belly button, pulse towards the spine. Shoulders stack on top of the elbow. Stay there, you can, 15 seconds. Woo! Just hold. Legs should be burning everything. Five seconds. Four, three, two, lower. Stretch it out. All right. Again, 30 seconds break. And we're on to that final block, final step. Of course, we're going to add another one minute power move at the end. It's also going to be a ladder, but a new kind of ladder. Okay, ready for it. To the floor, plank, ankle reach, push up. So, a whole 30 seconds you go. Can you pick up that pace a little bit? 15 seconds to go. Woo, five seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, stand it up. Here we go. You've got 15 seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, crouch, oblique knee, alternating, back to the floor. Reach the hips back, propel the knee forward. Like it's a big drive, shreds the obliques. And you touch your knee to your elbow. Five seconds. Without touching your knees down, right to the forearm, right leg up. 15 seconds here. Keep holding. Let's switch sides. Left leg up. No hips in the air. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, lower. We're staying down. We're a pike up ladder. Yeah, we're in a plank position. I say one, up, back, hold your plank. We're holding the plank the whole time. Then two pike ups, three pike ups. Get down, let's go. One pike up, up, hold. Two pike ups, on my count, hold. Three pike ups, one, two, three, hold. Four pike ups, I want you to keep going. One, two, three, four, hold it. Five pike ups. I came here because I can't stop while I'm down there. When you're done with five, hold. Six pike ups, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Can you make it to seven and you're done? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Nice job. Take your rest. Get your water. You made it through a lot too. Halfway through the class. Awesome, awesome job. Whatever you need to recover. We're just going to move our mat out of the way. So we've got that nice big space wherever you are working. Even if you don't have a big space, no big deal. As long as you can move your body in one direction. You can do this class. Okay, so block three. Agility and coordination. Lateral movement, forward, back. 
Maybe arms moving with the legs. We've seen that a bit already, so your body and your mind should be nice and warmed up for block three. This one sometimes makes us feel like we are quite tired. Yeah, because we've been doing hit now for almost a half an hour. And also because we're using our brain to tell the body what to do. It's just a lot going on, but we're gonna make it through it. So again, four exercises, 30 seconds each. Show some modifications halfway through. All right. Deep breath in and out. First exercise, coordination. Right leg reverse lunge. Right into a squat, right into a right oblique knee. Only on the right side. Lunge, squat, knee. Here we go. Lunge, squat, knee. When you step out of the oblique knee, you can go right back to a squat. So it's almost like a lunge, squat, knee squat. Okay. Just that same leg is moving. And we're bringing that right knee right up towards the right shoulder. Five seconds. Three, two, one, good. We've got four scissor runs to the side. Four high kicks high. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Modification for the kicks. Step through the kicks, but keep it quick. Keep moving. Three, two, and one. Down to the floor. Bare plank position. Knees are under the hips. Bare plank jacks. Flat spine. The knees bounce to almost touch the floor. Imagine there is something on your back that you do not want to slide off of it. You're trying to keep your spine as flat as possible while you're moving those legs. Four, three, two, last exercise. Also on side, right knee, right kick. Just like this, we'll start slow. Knee, kick, sorry, right knee, left kick, that's it, knee, Kick, right knee, now we pick it up. Knee, kick, knee, kick. There it is. Working on my coordination as well. Option. Slow it down. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right. Again, recover. How are we doing? Ready like me, I hope. Okay. Everything we did, starting with the right leg. Now we do starting with the left. Reverse lunge. Squat. Oblique knee squat. Three, two, one. Left leg moving. How high can you get that left knee towards the left shoulder? A lot of oblique work today. Good. Woo! Five seconds. Three, two, four scissors, four kicks. Move a little faster. We're moving laterally. Kick. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, that last one will kill you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If this block isn't your favorite, you only have to do it one more time. And if it is your favorite, you gotta crush it even more. Last block, last set of the block. All out. Deep breath. 15 seconds, right side. Here we go. Last time through. Lots of power when you bring that knee up. One more on the side. Switch legs, left side. Last one. Good. Scissors. Six. Here we go. Four. Four high. A lot of kicks. A lot of knees. Fifteen seconds to go. Where can you speed it up? Lift the legs higher. Five seconds. Three, two, to the floor. Fair play, jacks. Woo hoo! Maybe you can pick that pace up a bit. You should feel the knees pulse underneath you. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two. Start with the right knee, left kick, then we'll switch halfway. Right, kick, pick it up, knee, kick. Three, two, slow it down. Left knee, right kick. Finish it, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, just like before, instead of a high knee plank ladder, we're doing a mountain climb plank ladder. One, two, come up, back down, then four, then six. Let's go right now to the plank, two knees, back up to the plank, four knees. At your own pace, you're moving. I couldn't talk to you like this, but I'm gonna start now. Let's get into it. I'm gonna join you. You better be going. You're already on eight knees, ten knees. Let's go. You have 15 seconds left. Finish it. Keep going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Yes, good work. Not easy, but man, it feels great to move and sweat a little bit. You made it to the final block. We're gonna take our mats back out. Ah, hello, friend. Killing this one. And it's killing us just a little bit in a good way. Okay. Last block. Abs and core on the floor. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to show you as we go. Of course, if you've got any lower back issues, any kind of pain, don't do it. Try to modify it. If that doesn't still feel good, do a core exercise if you know it feels right. A little bit of a crunch side to side with the hips. A bicycle instead. As long as you're moving, you're good. Okay. Last block, last block. Yay. Losing it a little bit. Okay. We start with single leg lifts. Everything long on the floor, alternating with the leg lifting. In three, two, one. Here we go. Try your best to keep your leg as straight as you can. But if you need a little bend in the knee, that's okay. If you can't come all the way up, you stay a little closer to the floor. That's fine as well. Or you're letting your hands help you up. Okay. 
Five seconds. Three, two. We're going into a hollow rock. I know some of you are rolling your eyes at me. I can see you. Okay. Flat back on the floor, arms behind the head, legs extended. We lift the hips a bit. We rock up, straighten the legs, keep the feet off the floor. Rock back, rock up, hold. If you can, keep the legs straight at the top. Keep them a little bend. But you want to hold up top for a second. Lift the hips, up, hold. Three, two, we're going to roll back into that hollow position. Hands behind the head, legs extend. Belly pulls the spine so there's no space under the lower back. We're going to scissor up. We're going to scissor down. And then to modify, you keep the legs a little higher and you don't lower them as well. You want to feel the belly to the spine the whole time. Three, two, one. We come to the forearm and we finish with plank jacks now. So just like our bear jacks, only now we're here on the forearms. Option to tap through it instead. We don't want to see a big bounce in your hips, right? You want to see your hips just stable towards the floor. Legs are straight. About 10 seconds left. Belly pulls in towards the spine and squeezing the core. Four, three, two, one. Breath. Good one. So now we know where you might need to modify. In the hollow rock, the more challenging is as you rock up, how low can you get your legs to the floor and it's straight without them touching the floor? You should feel a big pull in the core where all your muscles are working to stabilize you. First we start, single leg lifts. Three, two, one, step two. Inhale as you reach your arms back. Exhale as you reach forward. Make sure your chin is lifting away from your chest and you're not reaching down towards the chest. 15 seconds. Four. Three. Okay, let's get into that hollow rock position. Arms extend, legs extend. Hips lift. Up hold. Inhale back. Exhale up. Woo! Just a little hip lift to give you some momentum. Then come forward. Breathe through this. If you are holding your breath, you will never make it through. Woo! Almost. Five seconds. Three, two, okay. Hands behind the head. Imprint is fine. Legs extend. Scissor up. Scissor down again. Chin lifted from the chest. Not looking down, but maybe looking up towards the toes, feeling your belly press down to your spine. If you feel space under the lower back, you don't lower your legs as well. Just like I'm doing. Four, three, two. Think about those play jacks again. Let's hit it. Last 30 second exercise. Reduce that rock in the hips or the hips pushing into the air. You want to keep them low. 15 seconds. You can always just hold the plank as well if you need to. Four, three, two, one. So if you start to feel pain in your back, that's your clue to hold the plank or to hold the modified plank. You're still working the core. We don't want to sacrifice the quality of the exercise, right? This is how you get injured. So, as long as you're doing something for the core, you're still working it safely. Here's your final set. Plus, we got a little ladder at the end, don't we? Okay. Ready for it? Last time through it. Three, two, one. And then we try to pick up the pace a bit on these leg lifts. Five, four, three, two, hollow rock. The whole 30 seconds. Here we go. 
straighter the legs, the better. That one second hold at the top. Last and final challenge. And you keep your arms behind the head the whole time. Straighten the legs at the top. Woo! Five seconds. Three. Two. Okay, hollow position. Hands behind the head or maybe under your butt for a little extra support. Chin lifts away from the chest. Maybe you challenge yourself, get the legs just a bit lower, but keep them straight still. Push the belly down to the spine and lift the chest a bit. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, last 30 seconds, plank jacks. Four taps for that plank pose. Maybe we speed it up 15 more seconds. We've done five, four, three, two. We come to the back. We've got a hip up ladder. So lying down, legs in the air. One, lower down, then two, then three. I'm gonna count with you. Here we go. One, up, down, two. Go one, two, hold, three, all in a row, two, three, hold, four, go, one, two, three, four, keep going, five, count it, one, two, three, four, five, hold the legs in the air, six, keep going, you can do this, three, four, Five, six, hold. We're finishing with seven. Here we go. One, two, a little faster. Three, four, five, six, seven. Rest. Knees to the chest. No rock side to side. A little rock forward in that. Now all the way up. Okay. Slowly make your way to stand. Shake it out. Ooh, I feel that in my core. Big time. Feels excellent. All right. So we've come to our final three minutes. If you're new to the class and you thought, ooh, I'm done. Tricked ya. Okay. So we're thinking about three exercises from today's workout. Not a warm-up exercise. Let's make it something challenging, huh? And then we're gonna do each one for a minute. So one move, one move, one move, one minute, one minute, one minute. Since we're live, I'm having some of you chat to your suggestions to me, and then I'll pick three. So let's see what we have. How would you do the rock, Claire? What? The, the rock, the, hell? the hollow rock. <laughs> oh my I, I God. Don't them. I don't expect you to know the names, but I see the kick thing. Side go, side ski jumps, okay, the rock. The side bend, the jump, the lunge into kicks thing. <laughs> you guys make me laugh. Okay, um, I'm not sure what the lunge into kicks thing is. Maybe it's the side to side kicks. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm gonna make it. All right. So uh, let's do the side to side jumps. Then we've got the scissor with the four kicks. And then we'll do the hollow rock one more time because, man, if that doesn't like make you feel so strong in your core, that's a nice lasting feeling to end with. So this is our last bit right here. We've got three minutes to go for it. I'll tell you when to start. So start with a little shuffle, just a little bit. There we go. All right, we got about 10 seconds and we're gonna start. We're going to start with those side to side hops over things. This is it. After this, we're done. One minute of each. Three, two, one. Side to side. Softly landing on the knees. Sorry to your neighbor ahead of time. Legs stay together. We're moving. Good work. 30 seconds. 
seconds left on this one. I want you to keep that speed, but maybe your jumps get a little wider, covering more space. Keep it up, keep it up. Four, three, two, more lateral movement, lucky us. Four scissors, four kicks. Oh, this one killed me after 30 seconds. I can't imagine what a minute will do. I want you to keep those kicks high. Keep breathing. 30 seconds left. Halfway through this last three minutes. Breathe. A little faster, higher kicks. 15 seconds. Woo! Five, four, three, two. On the floor. Follow rocks to finish it. Straight legs. Inhale back. Exhale to hold. Yes. Keep moving. Big straight inch of the legs at the top. Lift your hips off the floor as you roll back. Get a little higher forward, 30 seconds. Legs a little lower to the floor. Woohoo! Final 15 right here. Straight your legs, lower to the floor. A little faster movement, maybe. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four. Three, two, and one. Done. Woo! Roll it back. Lie down. Just reach your arms nice and long. Stay where you are. If you need some water, take a quick sip. Just gonna cool it down here. So reaching long with the arms, reaching long with the legs. Two more breaths like this. We're gonna take the knees just up towards the ceiling. We're gonna take the right leg into the air, grab behind your shin. Your ankle will roll around in one direction. And then reverse. And pull your straight right leg towards your chest. And then fold your right leg on top of your left. And grab behind the left leg. Just hold there for a few breaths. Make sure you can see me down here. One more big inhale in that stretch. And then left foot goes down to the floor, right leg stays where it is. We're just gonna take a little spinal twist to the side, to the left. Arms come out to a T shape, but the head twists over to the right. You can also stack your knees if you'd like instead. We come back up to the top. Left leg straightens into the air. We'll grab behind the shin, we'll roll the ankle in one direction and then the other. I don't know about you, but the more I do this class, the faster it goes by for me. So today it felt like it went by super quick. Toes towards your forehead. Maybe that's just me, because I'm just talking through the whole thing. But hopefully it's you. Left leg goes over on top of the right leg. Reach the space between your legs. Pulling your right knee towards you, pushing your left knee away from you. One more big breath in now. I'm going to take both knees into the chest, hands behind the knees. Give yourself a few rocks just to rock all the way up. 
We're just gonna come up to a fold, feet under the hips, we're dropping the head. Everything kind of relaxed down here. Maybe you're taking your hands to your elbows, side to side rock. And arms drop. Big breath in. Exhale as you roll up through the spine. All the way to the top. Arms reach up overhead. Fingers come together. Now rounding the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. Staying there. Pushing your shoulder blades apart. Reaching up tall. Palms towards the ceiling as you reach back a bit, big long stretch. And then reaching the hands behind you, chest pulls forward as the arms reach back. Good. Stick to the front, wide, flex. Leaning to the right for a lateral stretch. The breaths here, maybe even coming a bit lower. And just taking yourself over to the other side. Take your time. Letting both legs be straight. Reaching down as far as you can, maybe widening your legs a bit more for this final stretch. Taking yourself as low as you can and taking three final breaths. One more breath in and now. And we're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly heel toe the feet to come underneath the hips. Roll up to the side. Once we get all the way to the top, we'll finish with four breaths together, like usual. Big inhale, reach up tall. Exhale. <sighs> Last breath, reach tall. Hands touch above the head as you bring your hands to your heart. Give yourselves a really big clap. Once again, another kick ass hit claps. Thanks so much. Uh, drink some water, and uh, well, you can enjoy the couch today after this, I think. <laughs>